Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Sense of South Jersey uh, with me, Kellen, for another fragrance review. Um, today I'm going to do a review on a fragrance I just recently picked up and one that I'm really enjoying, wore it all week. It is from the early 1990s. And um, I've really done a lot of reviews uh, in, on my channel about fragrances that I find unique, interesting, that maybe don't get a lot of attention. So I like to kind of shine the light on uh, fragrances that maybe sometimes get negative reviews, aren't as popular, or um, you know just might not be as well known. Because for whatever reason, those seem to be the most interesting to me, the ones that I like to wear, own, and have in my collection. Um, so this fragrance, again, came out in 1993. It is from the House of Animal, and it is called Animal for Men. Um, this Fragrance is classified as an oriental spicy fragrance. And uh, what we'll do, as always, we'll take a look at the box and bottle presentation. We'll look at the notes and then we'll look at the performance and I can give my thoughts on that and when and where to um, utilize this cologne and then I'll give the overall rating. So um, we'll jump into the presentation here. We'll take a look at the box. Really cool presentation. It's all any mall fragrances have. I always like it. I think they're very eye-catching. Um, the box here is really cool. We'll take a look at the front. It says any mall for men here. Um, you have what is either a lightning bolt or some sort of claw scratch that uh, goes right in the center of it to give it that um, pop kind of feel to it. It has the um, kind of texture over that as well. You can see it kind of lifts off the box. It's embossed there. And you have what looks like almost um, uh, uh, nighttime stars all over the place here. This kind of like speckled print all over the box. Um, Eau de Toilette strength, uh, that's the concentration, and it has, you know, the bottle size, which is a 3.4 ounce, so it's 100 ml, 80% alcohol by volume, saying that on there. A lot of older school fragrances say that. I don't know if it does as much anymore. On the back, you have um, some ingredient con uh, contents, and on the sides, nothing much really going on there. Top, nothing much going on there. And on the bottom, you have the barcode or serial number. So let's take a look at the box. Box opens like this. Um, same type of dilemma that I ran into with Animal for Sport when it comes to the box and the bottle. The um, bottle is really cool, but you cannot remove it from the box without taking this whole thing out. It's kind of frustrating, um, and I think that's this due to the design of the bottle. Um, and I'll explain that in just a moment, but let's take a look at the front here. So same type of pattern is on the box. You can kind of see it's got the white uh, or silver speckle everywhere. Um, the bottle is glass, pretty thick glass. It's transparent. You can see the lightning bolt through here or the claw scratch, whatever that may be. Um, and the bottle sits in this plastic frame here. And as you can see, it gets wider as it goes down, and that's where it sits in, and that's probably what causes it to catch when you're taking it out of the box. That's a little aggravating. It says Eau de Toilette there, um, and any mall for men on the top, and uh, nothing on the back or top of the uh, cap here. So the cap stays on pretty securely. You can lift it up by it, no problem. You don't have to worry about dropping it. It pops off here. You can see inside it is plastic. Got a plastic teal color, same thing as on the front uh, for the atomizer, a silver atomizer. Um, let's take a look at the distribution. Not bad. It could be a little bit better. It took me like probably 10 sprays for it to start coming out in a nice mist like that. Um, so it is pretty good. On the bottom of the bottle, you do have a sticker there with some information, um, you know, where it is made. So it is made in France, looks like. Um, actually, I'm not sure. Could be the United States. It says something in France here. I uh, actually don't know if this is made in the U.S. or in a different, um, maybe initially it was in, uh, in Europe. But either way, uh, the notes for this, um, not that many. It's not a super complex fragrance, which is what I like about it. It's, it's pretty fresh and uh, simple. Um, top, you have Phrygia, lemon, and neroli. Uh, middle, you have the heart of the fragrance, juniper berries, lavender, and germanium. And then we've got the base, which is leather, oak moss, and vetiver. I don't really get the base note that much, uh, uh, hard leather in there. I don't really smell that. Um, you know, this fragrance is very fresh. I know Steven from Red Adolescence, which is a YouTube fragrance reviewer that I really enjoy watching his videos. He said that it, the smell reminded him of a new shoes, a new pair of shoes or a shoe store. Um, and I can kind of get that a little bit in terms of uh, like walking into a department store. I don't know if it's specifically a shoe store. That particular thing I didn't really um, find in the fragrance, but I, I could see it being a department store type of sell, smell, like, you know, just an overall crowd pleaser. Um, this is often, from what I saw review-wise online, written reviews, it, a lot of people said they didn't like it. A lot of people said they liked it too. Um, it often is uh, overshadowed by the flanker that came out the following year, 1994, called Animal Animal. And that um, supposedly is similar to a Thierry Mugler uh, fragrance. I believe it's pure malt. Uh, but this one, really fresh citrus in the beginning, and it's definitely unique. There is some spice in there as well, too. I really like this fragrance a lot. Um, you know, the performance, we'll get into that, is incredible. 
Um, I get eight plus hours, which I think is awesome. I've been wearing it all week. I've been wearing it to work. I think you can make this a daily scent. Um, you could dress it up or down. It could be casual. It's those fresh citrus scents that are have a good opening like that. I really feel like you can do either or with. Um, it may lean on the casual side, but um, I think, again, it could go both ways in terms of it being a formal or um, not too formal, but like, you know, office or casual scent. Um, it definitely could be somebody's signature scent, something that they wear all the day, all the time. It's got a clean smell. I really like it a lot. Um, the Siage is great too. Projection is good probably for the first half of the fragrance. It's not going to be too overpowering. My first day wearing it, I smelled it all day long and I thought the performance was incredible. Then later on in the week, for whatever reason, maybe I got a case of olfactory fatigue, but I think that that is probably what happened. I got used to it. And I don't think that it wasn't performing because other people could smell it a lot. And I got some compliments on it too on that work, which I thought was cool. So, um, you know, if a fragrance can do that, then it's definitely a good one in my opinion. And, you know, regardless of what it is. And I, I really liked it. The um, strongest was the first day. And then I, I, I felt like uh, it became a little bit more subtle. Second half of the fragrance, I think the projection wise, it'll still be within an arm's distance. People could absolutely um, get a whiff of this for sure. Uh, maybe the last hour or two, it'll sit closer to the skin. Uh, season, definitely a spring, summer, and maybe the warmer part of fall in the beginning. You could definitely wear this. Probably wouldn't perform as well in the um, colder weather. But again, you know, you can wear it whenever, as I always say. Um, it's a very fresh and it's very unique scent. And it's definitely different. And that's really what I enjoy most about this fragrance. I think that it has the 80s powerhouse feel a lot. And I like it. And I uh, something that I would probably wear daily. I, From what I understand, there is not an aftershave of this. There is aftershave balm and body wash. I was able to locate some of those. I don't own any yet. I just kind of have the fragrance. But um, I think that that might even help its longevity and projection and performance. So um, if we were going to rate this fragrance overall... Presentation, again, I would give it a 10 out of 10, but I can't I can't get past that wide end of the bottle, which causes it to stick in the box when you're trying to take it out. I really don't like that thing. And you can't take that piece of cardboard out and then put the bottle back in because it'll wobble around in there and it's, it keeps it straight. So nine out of 10, presentation is awesome. I love how they look there. I think it's such a cool thing and it's different. And when you're, if you get a compliment of fragrance and somebody says, hey, like you smell really good. What is that? What are you wearing? And you're like, any mall for men. And they're like, what? I haven't heard of that. And that's what I think is really cool because um, some people may say dated. I don't like to say that at all because if it doesn't matter what year it came out, if it smells good, it smells good. And this is different. I like different style fragrances. So um, again, I'd say performance, 10 out of 10 on this performs excellent. And smell wise, uh, in the beginning, it's not super unique, but I think it becomes more of a unique scent as uh, the journey of the fragrance goes each time I wear it. So I'm going to give it an 8 out of 0.5 out of 10. So I think overall rating for this fragrance, any mall for men is going to be an eight and a half out of 10. That's what I'll give it. I think it's a good fragrance. I definitely think everybody should check it out. Um, if you know anything about any mall fragrances or have experienced another one, maybe that I haven't reviewed yet, um, please leave a comment. If you have, let me know your thoughts on it. I want to know what everyone thinks of this house. I think it's a pretty cool fragrance. Um, I'm going to do a couple more reviews on some 90s scents, so, uh, but I wanted to start off with this one. And uh, as I obviously already did, any mall sport. So um, thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks so much.